Imperial College has one of the largest faculties of engineering in the whole of Europe. That has enabled us quite uniquely to provide a course that deep dives into very many different sectors of engineering. Systems engineering is where the, the development is coming. Projects are getting more and more complex and systems engineering gives you the tools to be able to deal with that complexity. When I'm often asked what is systems engineering, I ask people what might be in common between a NASA rocket and the pyramids. And if they don't get the answer, it is about two and a half million pieces. And every big engineering exercise that's ever been taken has required people to think about how things are assembled, how they're going to work together. That is the systems engineering of the world we live in. I first found out about the course through my employer. Um, they were asking various people within the company if they were interested in studying the course. Uh, so I did a bit more research into it and it looked like a really interesting course. Um, so I decided to go ahead and apply. So the academic year, well, it starts in October and it runs all the way until June. Um, and that will be uh, over two years if you're doing the part-time course. And if you're doing the uh, full-time course, it's a one-year duration. Having the part-time program organised such that it's two-week intensive modules each term is really useful. It means that I can concentrate on my time at college. I don't have the pressures of having to worry about my job at the same time as being at college. There are two parts to the assessment. Uh, first of all, there's exam and coursework and then there's the dissertation. I think one of the best things about the course is the individual projects. So it's great to have an opportunity to put everything into practice that we've learned in the course by looking at a project that's ours to own um, and we've got the freedom to research the areas that we're most interested in. One key skill we look for is the ability to um, investigate a technology that the engineer is not familiar with but has been used very successfully in another type of engineering system to investigate, for example, how design is done in the big automobile industries and see how those sort of visual techniques could be brought into other forms of large mechanical and electrical engineering in a much more spatially distributed project. The other really great aspect is the location. Um, being in central London um, means there's so much going on around about you you can get involved in. So usually uh, our students will have at least two to three years experience in industry which means they will be typically moving to the level of perhaps project management in their companies. The course has helped me a lot um, in my current role. Um, I would say one of the best things about the course um, has been the link in with the business school at Imperial um, because I think it's really important when you're learning new techniques that it's not just the theory you're learning. I've worked in quite a wide range of different projects uh, so that includes a large acute hospital. Um, I've worked in a air traffic control centre um, and I'm currently based at Heathrow Terminal 2A um, where I look after the electrical infrastructure. For me personally, the fact that the lecturers are interesting, exciting people as well as leaders in their field really makes the course. We really believe systems engineering is the future, so this is the course to do.